Okay, welcome to Infected. My name is Mark, you know, this is Northern Ants. Okay, I... If you didn't see the first episode, I'll leave a link so you can uh, see what where I started out. But right now, what I've been doing is doing a lot of cutting down trees, gathering resources. I just realized these trees just all grew back all of a sudden. These were all cut down after the last record. So that's pretty good because that means now I don't have to walk so far to get more trees. I had this whole thing cut back. But this is where I'm at so far. I've got a little garden. I've got the house is being is built here. Let's get the door closed. I'm going to start working on defenses and things like that. Um, but I figured out bringing it along. I just got done doing a long run, grabbing a whole bunch of uh, clay and, and some other stuff, which got some stoves going. Hopefully they're still going, because I try to make sure I had my... Oh, shoot. Yeah, once it starts raining, if you don't have a cover, these stoves go out. So you have to be careful not to have an open ceiling for them. So we won't get this thing fired back up until we know we can uh, see glass. No, oh, can't cook those on there. Uh, let's see. I've got some empty. I've got some firewood. I've got my workbench here. Got a lot of uh, logs that I had gathered. That's one thing about this game is it's a very uh, time-consuming, like lots and lots of uh, gathering. <laughs> what I'm trying to do here is get what I need to uh, work on this roof, and I kind of want to do that in this episode. Let's see what we got. We got a lot of clay, which is very hard to get, because you, you basically have to go all over the map just to find all this clay. Let's, oh, um, holy cow, yeah, I'm a little over overweight. Hey, let's just throw this on in this one here. So I need logs and planks for these. Let's see, I don't know what I'm adding. Yeah, it is. Oh, that one's done. I've never tried these uh, different angles, so we'll see how how it comes together. Plus, I'm not a big fan of those angles because they take, well, I guess they all take 10 clay, don't they? So for every roof section you get, you need to find one clay there we go and I'm, I'm just curious to see what it's going to be like with the the center of the roof because I'm trying to play around with these different angles and stuff like that I'm trying to get it to, to match up okay I think actually I got all the clay that I need for that. Let's grab some of these planks and let's get rid of get all the plank sections done. out of the way a little bit farther. Put it over here. I love how you can put the storage crates on it now. You can put logs in here or you can put two storage crates. Which, when you're out exploring, I was actually just at a town, which if you look at the map, I'm right by the fish. I'm not sure if I have my cursor on or not. But but right next to it, if you go down, there's a town right here. Basically right outside my back door. I'm right at the end of this little road. By the fish ponds. And there's a town right here. 
<laughs> funny thing, I had no idea it was there. And basically you just walk over a little hill right here to get to it. Okay, let's get the last of these planks up here. Do have some planks oh, on these pallets here too. basically been playing f for like a week straight without recording just to get to this point. Yeah, these angles are just really different. And I'm wondering if we will leave that angle there, if we go into a little hole, if water would set in there or not. Not real sure. Okay, let's grab the roof. And let's see, we might need to do this kind. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. And then here. This one here looks kind of like a, f would be more of a flat. Oh, <laughs> okay, I threw all those, let's see. I think there's a flat piece. Roof flat. Yeah, I think that did it. Okay. And plus, I <laughs> I need to work on getting some kind of lighting, because once I close this up, it's going to be pretty dark in here. So I've only got a few windows. Hoping I have enough materials to finish this. Oh, I do still have clay on me, don't I? or anything like that. What is it? Oh, that one only needs logs now, doesn't it? One more left. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's see what we got for lighting. Uh, let's see, placeables. Furniture. Okay, this lamp, fire pit, ingots, and plant fires. Just a source of light. Now, I wonder if you need. Oh, that one needs copper. I have not found copper yet. And you need fish oil. I wonder if they work all the time, or if it's something that you. That they go out and then you have to. Like redo them. Okay, we're going to set it here. <laughs> yeah, we'll be able to find where where I'm at. Because I cannot see. Let's get these planks out of our inventory. <laughs> really dark. I've got ingots. 
if you can see them, there's ingots right here. Oh, that's fragments, not ingots. Shoot. I guess let's try sleeping and see what time it is. Oh, no wonder it was already pretty dark. Had no light coming in the windows. I always try to sleep till about seven. At least the temperatures are getting better. It was like 104 inside the cabin. <laughs> there we go. Now we can actually see. Let's get this. Uh... Oh, I got. Do I have my. I do have my lighter on me. Oh, I'm out of firewood. No wonder. I gotta get over to the cave again, get some more uh, coal. There's a cave close to the house here that's got coal in it. And all you have to do is grab the lighter and light it up. Yeah, I didn't realize I let them completely go out of fuel. Yeah, we're not gonna... Oh, here we go, we got five ingots. Fragments, I mean. I was going to turn it into an, an ingot, but there's really no sense in that. Okay, we got to grab. Oh, I always forget to do that. Light it. And light it. Okay, now we've got the ingots that we need. Let's throw them in here. And plant fibers, ten of them. Should have a bunch of them somewhere in here. Oh, here we go, some ingots. Oh, I found some screws last time when I was out. We'll go through my other cases in a little bit here. We need, okay, we need ten of these, so split it in half. Perfect. We'll probably make more stoves too, and I'm probably gonna put them farther away from my bed. It gets pretty hot. Now, to use the fire pot, hit E F. E, I mean. Okay, so it can just be started and turned off. That'll be good, and I can probably move. Yeah, I can move it if you use the N. Now that I've got this enclosed, let's take a look what else. Oh, wait a minute. Here, let's put these this firewood back. Oh, how many ingots are these anyways? Lead ingots. Like if you hit shift, right click, you can just grab them off or put them in. You don't have to just drag and drop, which gets really f annoying. Okay. Oh, I do have lead ingots in here already, don't I? Wait a minute, those screws? So I already have some screws? I thought I just found them. Okay, well let's go throw those screws in with these. Hopefully they can buy, yeah they do. We've got some more clay there. Now let's go show you what we've got in our cases here. We've got quite a bit of different stuff here. We've got some uh, glass and some electric components and some wire. 
Yeah, it's some fish oil, and I'm pretty sure I got some biofuel. Oh no, I don't. Oh, I had to leave it behind. I forgot about that. Some plastics. A splint. Empty can. I'm not sure if the empty can, if you can take and put that in one of the furnaces to turn it into something else. Or if you can make food with it. We'll play around a little bit more with that, too. Let's see what we can build. Okay. Placeables. I want this advanced. I need copper ingots, though, which I do not have yet. Loom. Chemistry table. Oh, I do. Okay. Two glass. I think I do have two glass. Not sure exactly what the chemistry table is going to do for us. Uh, butcher table. I really want to get the. The um. Oh, there's a butcher table and a food prep table. This advanced one, because that'll get so I can make uh, like my metal uh, tools and stuff. Okay, well, we gotta get this other, gotta get these other containers emptied out, so we have a place to grab stuff and put it in here. gonna have to make defenses after a while. I've right now I have the the zombies turned off. Cause I've been just like plugging away at making making stuff. Trying to get it to a point where it's more fun to watch. Not just constantly out there chop 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 or chip 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 again. <laughs> um the different stones and things like that. And once we get stuff set up, we will organize a little bit more. I'm wondering if I can put this, remove, what I'll have to do is uh, take what I need to make one of these with me so I can put it in the caves because I was in the cave earlier and it is so dark like it's like hard to see okay it was five and ten so if I take ten ingots left ten, ten fragments I mean and twenty fibers I can make a couple of them okay oh I'm gonna need stones too Oops. Boy, I had two storage things completely full of ingots. Or of stones, I mean. Okay, there we go. We got. We'll make one for right now. We'll just take the whole thing and plant fiber with. And we can leave that. I don't know if there's... I'm going to bring bandages. I'm not sure if there's bear out there. I have the zombies off, but I'm pretty sure there's bears and things like that and wolves out there that could attack. Oh, the other thing is, let's look at our weapons. Okay, I've got... Oh, that one's about done. I don't have a spear yet, either. Okay, let's... That's empty. Oh, I guess if we we can keep the first aid kit on here just in case if we need it. Okay. Okay. Let's get out there. I did set up that pumpkin lamp in one. Seriously, I've got myself a couple farm beds here. Okay, so kind of an idea of where we're at here. 
I kind of I built the, the cabin right at the edge of the road here. Okay, let's head out. This there's a cave right up here on the right hand side. There's a deer. Yike! <laughs> yes, here's a cave right there. thing is, is with that one, it's not really what I need right now. It's got lead. I want aluminum and things like that. I'm pretty sure all these X's are going to be your caves. So we want to head down this road. I wonder what that little white spot is on the map. I guess we'll be heading that way. It's up for bear. Hopefully my I don't have a weapon. Hopefully my pickaxe will be good enough for doing damage and will be fast enough. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's the direction I want to go. It's early in the morning, so we have plenty of time. Kind of went through a lot of this area looking for the clay. Yeah, see, I'd already, down here I had already gone through all these. Oh, so that little white dot's right on this other side. That's just the center of the map. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was. That's yeah, just the center. Okay, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> okay, let's go across the road here, and I'll show you what the clay rocks look like compared to the regular stones. This one right here. See how that's shaped? That's the clay. This is just gonna be stone. Which, that's one of the things that they've changed that I do not like. Is now when you take the stone, it used to be where if you broke up about one of the big rocks, it would give you a fragment or a big chunk of um, iron or aluminum or, something, or copper every time you broke up any stones. But not anymore. Now, when you break them up, it just gives you stone. You have to go to caves to get any of these other um, minerals, like the copper and aluminum and things like that. You can get iron from doing stones in the forges for turning them into fragments. Whoops, did not want to do that. Okay, let's take a look. How far are we? Okay, it's right at the bend. So let's keep going. Dude, bird flying right above me. Like it poop on me. Okay. It has that sound effect of the footsteps. Sometimes it throws you off thinking something's chasing you. There's a pumpkin. Okay, here we got... There's... I think that... Yeah, that's a clay. Okay, let's head in here. Did I keep that stuff on me that I need? We 
want to grab placeables, other no, furniture, and a fire pit pot. Let's get it back in there where it's starting to get real dark. Like, basically right here. Oh, that's pretty much useless. <laughs> I guess it gives you an idea of the next, like the direction you need to go. But I think we're going to come in here. We're going to have to put a whole mess of them. Let's see what we get. I'm not sure what this cave is actually going to have in it. Oh, not lead. I get lead from that other cave. Oh, there's an iron one. I thought there was three usually. Where's the other piece? Oh, there it is. Come on. Yeah, see, I can't see. Oh, it's another. God, shoot. I don't need lead. That's a little bit different color. Always take a lot of pickaxes with you because they they break down really fast. Oh, a small stone. Are you kidding me? Is that it? I gotta get some kind of flashlight or headlamp or something, I'm hoping. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a cave to actually worry about. Lead. Oh, creepy fog. Very easy to get lost in here. turned away from it. Shoot. There it is. Okay, we're taking it with us. Let's put it right out here for now. So we can... Well, let's take it inside that might damage it. If it's in the rain, maybe. cave is pretty useless.
Okay, let's see. Next. Go to map. We don't want to go to the alligators yet. Now, if I just head off in this direction, and just that way, it will bring me to the next cave. So I will see you when we get there. Okay, well, we're to the next cave. We're going to run inside here and see what we can see. Or not see, because I don't have... I don't have any lamps with me now. Let's see what this rocks are gonna give us. I gotta figure out a way to clay. Come. What is that? Oh, not lead again. Are you kidding? Gotta be something other than lead in these caves. Do I have to go in farther or something? I really don't want to do that until I know I have some kind of light. Because this is annoying not being able to see. You can see I can't even tell which where I'm going. Good thing I can check my map and kind of see which direction I'm pointing. There we go. Because it gets really disorienting. Yeah, we're going to leave the cave. And I think the next episode will not be until I have some form of light source. So we are not pumbling around in the dark. Okay, well, I'm going to be heading back to the camp. I think we're going to leave off right there with this episode. I'm going to be doing a lot of off-camera work just to kind of advance stuff, because once we get to a certain point, then I'll turn everything on so that it's all-out survival, and we'll have zombie attacks and all that stuff, So or vampire vampire zombies I guess they're <laughs> what they are but okay well thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you in the comments